Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button down below. It's completely free. Become part of the family before you go. It is Sunday, you guys, and as I said in a recent vlog, Zane and I have proclaimed Sunday as our chill day, our just vibe kind of day, and I usually don't film it, but today I wanted to bring you guys along because we're getting out of the house for our Sunday. We just kind of want to like do things that we enjoy not really stick to our like calorie deficit you know enjoy some good food so that's what we're gonna do today also zane's birthday is in a few days so we figured like might as well start a little celebrating here and there you know so let me give you guys a little outfit of the day crop top is princess polly i will link some dupes for you guys as well my jeans are reformation but i did get them from thread up but i'll see if i can find them and link them for you guys online they're like super stretchy very comfortable the only thing is they're a little long on me so i did have to fold them but i I might cut them but I also kind of like the folded vibes I know it's like old school but it feels like very spring you know what I mean even though we're going into fall and I'm just wearing my little checkered vans my little slip-ons very comfy and that's really it when in doubt always go for jeans and a black shirt never fails so yeah I hope you guys are excited for a nice chill Sunday I know I am first thing on the list is my mom and dad invited Zane and I to go to a little breakfast this morning at this little place in if you're familiar with Long Island Lindenhurst I think it's called Linden Lindenhurst Luncheonette. I think it's basically just like a regular Long Island diner that just offers like everything, breakfast all day, you know, that kind of place. So I'm excited. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet, but I am hungry. Bye babies, love you. See you later. Alligator. Garbage today. Holy hot, I shouldn't have worn jeans. Hey. Happy birthday week. Hell yeah. Hi kids, what's going on? Hi. You know what's gonna suck in the winter? I oh. No, it's gonna be good in the winter. Keep no, you warm. Because you gotta wear your hat, your gloves, your scarf, your, and your mask. jacket, and a mask. <laughs> I think it's gonna keep me warm because I get cold so easily. I'm sunglasses right here. Are you getting out? <laughs> I'm putting on my cool mask. Agamil, baby. Represent. All right, let's go. Cute little village over here. It feels so good to just get out of the house. My goodness. Lindy's restaurant. Breakfast, lunch, early dinner. Breakfast was amazing. I'm so full now, but we decided to make a little pit stop at Lowe's for two reasons. One, because Zane and I want a ceiling fan in our bedroom. It'll just be nice. We don't have AC. It's a complicated situation. We're probably going to get it next year, but long story short, it'll also be a great video for my dad's channel to show you guys how to install a ceiling fan. So we're at Lowe's and we're going to see if we can find, I kind of want like a black thin frame, like thin fan for the ceiling. I think it'll look nice. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, that one right there, right here. That? This? Right here. This? Cool. Cool, right? Yeah, it is. A lot of cool lights. Mm-hmm. Goes with farmhouse, too. You know? Here's a black one right here. That's only three blades, though. Black wood. Why? Yeah, That's not it. good? Yeah. What? Oh, there's another one here. On here. Oh, $50 right here. Uh, like, oh, no that one's light. kind of ugly. What? Huh? Get What's wrong with your hand? <laughs> oh, hanging. You can't get right hanging. Here. Right, yeah, we'll Actually, hit her. Go by Dad. You can't make it an unhanging one? No. You could do anything, Dad. Can we spray paint it black? No. Yeah, why not? It really looks black, to be honest. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. How cute is this? Ma, yeah. for the living room, because you guys never know which one's which. One has a fan, one has a light oh, my to pull it. Actually, is that hysterical? Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> How much is it? How much is it? Isn't that cute? What? That one? Amazing. Look. Wood Looks grain or the right black? <laughs> you can switch. No, there's both. Oh, there is? perfect. There you go. Perfect. So then you get $49 one. Sold. Amazing. That's the one you have? Yeah. Okay, sold. <gasps> We're gonna have a fan. Amazing. Yay. They have these two, which are cuter. It just like says which one is which on it. Bulb and the fan. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Rather than having like the actual fan in the bulb, but. That's funny. That's cute for like maybe that's a kid's a room. Idea. Yeah. But these are like nicer looking, you know? Cute to have it in white. Look. There you go. You'll know which one's which. But can I see it without my glasses? <laughs> Away. Got it. He's got it. Sold. One. Beautiful. It's a good deal. So you guys did the bronze side. The other side's black. Yeah. I think we used we the just black checked. side too. 
Oh. One of the boxes is open. No, bronze, not the wood. No, the other one looks like a woodish. The other one's wood. One wood is the bronze like side. Bronze and to me, when I look at it, it looks black. Yeah. All right, good. That's what I want. We have a lot of like that, huh? black accents in our bedroom, so I think the, the black will match today. Super <laughs> modern. <laughs> That'll definitely cut your head off. Look, you got two DIY dad videos right here. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Three, because, yep. Yeah. This is where I get it from, you guys. We came to Lowe's just to get the ceiling fan. My dad's like, wait, but let me get this wood. Wait, but let me get this dirt. Wait, but while we're here, let's get this. That's literally me making use because you're at the store and you have to get everything in that second. That's one of the things that Zane loves about me oh so much, right? What are you talking to me? What yeah, that's one of the things you love about me. What? When we go to the store and to buy one thing and we get 20 things. That's my favorite. <laughs> that's where I get it from. Look, he's doing it right now. That's the one, right? That's the one, yep. Oh, you're dripping water, babe. Yeah, sir. Yeah, we used two filled, so maybe get an extra one. You can always use it for more plants. It's like six inches. You can always save it and use it for something else. We'll get one small one with it. Oh yeah, there you go. I didn't even realize I had a small one. Lipstick. Bye. Okay, we got rid of Zane. We got rid of Dad, and now me and my mom are gonna have a little day out. We have a Monty's birthday and Zane's birthday are one day after another, 25 and 26. Hello. 25th oh, and 26th. One thing I definitely need to do is stock up on some cards from the dollar store. We usually have a stash at home. I need to get one for Monty and Zane and then I'm gonna get a few extras to keep at home. So I definitely wanna go to Dollar Tree and then possibly a few little things for Zane. So here's the sitch. I wanna keep it kind of a surprise for you guys, but Zane decided what he wanted to do for his birthday. It was kind of expensive, so the whole family kind of chipped in for the experience, and we're all just gonna give him cash and a card. So you guys will see what that is on his birthday. I'll obviously vlog it for you, but I don't wanna just give him cash and a card like as his girlfriend. I feel like that's pretty boring. I wanna get him some other things. So um, I know my mom has a return at TJ Maxx, so maybe we'll look around there for a little bit. Um, we did get Amani a few little gifts, but maybe a little thing for him. Maybe some scratch-offs. I always forget about that. That's definitely a good gift. So we're gonna check out some stuff like that. Oh, I also need to stop at the bank to get out cash because I never have cash on me to put in his birthday card for Zane. So I want to get that done so that I don't have to like worry about it like the day of or day before. And then also since it's Sunday, it's our chill day to eat some fun food. I want to make these skinny taste um, buffalo chicken egg rolls. So I want to see if maybe I can find those egg roll wrappers. But that's not like a priority on the list because we'd have to stop at a grocery store. So we'll see where we can get today. But yeah, that's the plan. Shopping for the B days, prepping. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. I got literally a ton of birthday cards. That way we always have it. I needed some tissue paper. I'm, what else should I get? <laughs> <laughs> what else? I can get 10 things for a dollar. Oh my god, look at these fish. That is hysterical. It's a cat toy. Look, a giraffe thing. <gasps> Last time I got Bailey a toy from here, she loved it. It's her favorite toy. Where is it? It's like the stick with the thing at the end. What am I trying to say? The feather. She loves that toy. <gasps> look at this. Burger and fries. <gasps> Oh my god, we're gonna have to treat them. Check out what I just found, you guys. A dollar corn holder. So excited. This is, this is the only spot I'm allowed to use, okay? So I don't overfill it. Just this top section. <laughs> remember these? I remember. Oh my god, I see those all the time. 60 sticks. Okay, we just arrived at TJ Maxx. We left the dollar store. I wanted to show you a quick little haul. That way I don't have to do it when I get home, you know? Might as well just show you now. They had a giraffe and a cheetah or a leopard print one, but I was like, the zebra one looks just like stripes and it matches. <laughs> it's more aesthetically pleasing for our decor. So I was like, let me just get the black and white striped one, but I think they're gonna love this. Well, more so Bailey and Benji will love it. And then we ran out of um, tissue paper. So I just got two things of that, just plain white. And then I already showed you guys this. I got like a bunch of happy birthday cards. Some baking soda because we don't have any left and then i also got these i made an educated guess on our garbage can that's like electronic one of my best amazon purchases by the way it was like under 50 dollars, and it like we haven't changed the battery since we got it maybe once but it's been like over two years so that just goes to show but anyways i think it's these d2 batteries so it's like starting to slowly open and close the automatic top so oh also <laughs> I got these just in case it was the nine volts. So we're covered on both, but it's definitely one of those big batteries. And then, oh, Sour Patch Kids for Amani for his birthday. Some scrubbers for the sink. 
I got a tablet cutter because I suck at taking pills and I cut them with a knife, but now I have like a cutter that does it for me. Pretty cool. And then also these corn holders because Zane and I have been loving the corn on the cob that we get from Lidl, the sweet corn. It is so good, but it's so annoying to hold it when it's hot, like and you want to eat it. So now we have little corn holders. Oh, and I also got these little trays because I don't know if Zane's going to want me to like make something for his birthday or I don't know. It's just nice to have little throwaways when it's like a busy day. So Anyways, so that's what I got from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna go look in TJ Maxx. Probably walk out with too much, but we shall see. I actually found a gift card in my purse for $25, which is pretty cool. Definitely from like Christmas time, and I just never used it. Every time I go in, I shop there a lot, but every time I go, I just always forget to use my gift cards. So now I'm gonna remember to use it, hopefully. If not, it's not like I'm never gonna come back again. Well, I suck, you guys. I didn't film anything in TJ Maxx, but we did find this. Hey, I think this is gonna look cute over my kitchen table because I really want to switch up that decor, so we shall see. It's like an oval black framed mirror. I think it'll add like a nice cute touch there. Very modern and simple. Can I take it? Yeah, you can take it. <laughs> and then I also got a few little things. I will show you when we get home though. Actually, just kidding. I'm gonna show you really quick now because I got some stuff for Zane. So I can't show you when I get home. Ah, my mask looks it's stuck in my ear. Me too. Okay. I got myself this hoodie. It's a men's hoodie in a size medium, but it's just like a champion. It's like lightweight. It'll be good for fall, like big and oversized for like leggings. I also got Zane these shorts for his birthday. He's constantly running out of like simple like workout shorts. So I figured why not get him another pair? These seem like nice ones. What else did I get? I also got Zane this under eye cream because he's been complaining about his um, dark circles so we'll see if it works it was $15 and it only is like a four week treatment but it says it improves the appearance of fine lines and dark circles while leaving the, um, the eye area looking younger so it looked like a doctor thing so I got it and you guys are gonna laugh at this but I got a sand timer is that what these are called timer, yeah. it's, it's a sand timer so this one is 30 minutes. I thought it was a cute piece of decor or also to keep in the office when we do the podcast because I can see how long in we are from my view, but Jerry can't see on her end how long, so it'll be cool for her to know, like, oop, we're 30 minutes in, or I might use it as decor. We'll see, but either way, I thought it was cool. You want Tums? Okay, I've had these in my purse for so long. <laughs> They're a little chalky, but so Tums. Also, the candle that I got, I got these last year for fall, and they smell so strong. The natural coconut wax blend. This is the falling leaves um, scent. I'm opening it as if you guys can smell it smells like fall, like a fall store. So I like to put these little mini ones in the bathroom. Okay, now we're gonna stop at the bank and then also I think I'm gonna just grab a bunch of like scratch offs for their birthdays to put in their cards just as a little extra something. And then I think that's it, question mark. The bank is closed so we had to go through <laughs> the drive through ATM so now my mom has to do it for me, what? Yes. Receipt, okay. Don't show this. Get now. cash. Here is your card. Thank you. I like that sound. I love that sound. Cash. Nice. Thanks for stopping by Thanks. and taking out some cash. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I just stopped and grabbed the boys some scratch offs. I got a few dollar scratch offs, Whoa. but it's an uneven number, so I have to scratch one so I can give them both the same amount, right? No, technically, I would give my boyfriend the extra one, but. I never buy myself scratch off, so it, it'll be fun to do one. So here we go, and now they have three each. Wait, am I going the right way, Liz? <laughs> Where are you trying to go? I'm going to lead them. Yeah, keep going straight. Okay, right. All right, let's take five. Get three like amounts. Put on your seatbelt. Hey! Why are we saying A when you were flying through the windshield? You're gonna do it in my car? I'm gonna do it in your car? <laughs> what are we, in Boston? You gonna park the car? Wait, I gotta have my seatbelt on now so I won't chop my head off. I feel like having a drink. <laughs> Hold the camera. Oh my, oh Jesus. I'm gonna wait till we park. Yeah, park huh? <laughs> Three like amounts, baby. Ten, one, <gasps> take five. No. Ten, 5,555? <laughs> 100? Come on, why they do me like that? One more $10 at least. Another take five? Uh oh, that's good. <gasps> wait. What? I got three take fives. No, you didn't. Yeah? No, you didn't. That just means I get another. Is that what it means? Get three take five symbols and win a take five quick quick pick free play. That just means I get another one, right? Oh, yeah. oh I just got so excited. I got three take five. I want to send a picture to dad because like he likes alien. watching people do Look, this, I right? Like one of those alien bugs with the big eyeball. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't I look like that? Can you see me? At least I got something. I picked yeah. the right one out of those. Thank okay, you. I'm gonna run into Lidl okay. and see if they have the egg roll wraps that I want. If not, we're gonna go stop at a grocery store. All right, get it ready, get it tidy. Lidl was a fail. I did see one of you guys, which I'm so sorry, by the way, if you ever run into me, I'm a little bit awkward because I'm just as nervous as you. So I'm like, hi, oh, thank you, nice to meet you. <laughs> like, what's your name? Zane says he swears like whenever we run into somebody that I'm not awkward at all, but in my eyes I am, so. If you run into me, I'm sorry in advance. I just get nervous and I love you guys so much and I want to make the best impression ever. But anyways, I didn't even grab her name. She was just like, I watch you on YouTube. I was like, oh, hi. And then she like walked into the back room of Lidl. So I'll probably see her again since I go to that Lidl all the time anyway. But if you're watching, I'm so sorry. I love you. And I wish I said at least thank you. Like really, Alyssa? Thank you for watching. Anyways, they didn't have the egg roll things, the egg roll wrap things. So we're stopping at... We're stopping at Stop and Shop, and we haven't been to a real grocery store in so long, so I'm pretty excited. Chocolate chip cookies, donuts, and onions, but no egg roll wraps. So last stop, last try, this is it. Come on, Target, don't do me wrong. You never let me down. It's already starting. We're already getting things we don't need. Oh, I need this. <laughs> Actually, I mean, I do need these, so. <laughs> Damn it, I thought we found them, but it's freaking udon noodles. Oh no, these are all udon noodles? Why doesn't anybody have it? There's dumplings. It's okay, I have another recipe in mind that I needed that for, so that works. Take this bullshit, now <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Why are egg roll wrappers so hard to find? All right, I already showed you guys what I got from the dollar store. I got these things for Zane's birthday. <laughs> now you can look, it's just snacks yeah. for your birthday. Oh. You're not allowed to touch. These are your favorites, right? And it technically is a gift for me, so there you go. <laughs> You're welcome. But you can't touch it until your birthday on Wednesday. Cookies look banging. And I got you these, right? Because you only, you like the chocolate ones, right? Where am I going to get the variety pack? The chocolate. Fire. Well, the chocolate <laughs> ones are the best. I found onions, so I guess this brand isn't part of the outbreak. Oh, okay, cool. But that's part of the dinner tonight. Got us some of these because there's only one left. These are for tonight. I got this for myself. Isn't it cute? Oh, champion? Yeah, it's like a thin. Exactly. It's men's, but. It's like oh, a, so I can wear it. Cool. It's a men's medium, but I didn't think oh, you'd like perfect. the bottom. I'm legit I didn't think you'd like the bottom of it. It's like loose. It's like that, like. Oh, it's more like it's that shirt. kind of style, I guess, maybe. Gift for for Zane. Huh? <laughs> I got this for the bathroom for fall time. Candle. Oh my god. It smells good, right? It smells like fall time. <laughs> yeah. I got this. I thought it was cool. Maybe I could put it in the office. Oh, it's a 30 minute timer? Yeah. No way. Cool, right? Wait, I want to test it. I want to set a timer. I want to see if it goes. Oh, okay. Yeah, test it. Why would it lie? Look, I got this I for... Oh, you scared me. Before. Um, They tested it out. I know. So yeah. Test okay, test it. <laughs> I got this for over the kitchen table. It's just an oval mirror. I thought it would be nice and simple. Open up the room. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's kind of a lazy decor piece, but yeah. I think it'll look nice. You're just over gathering. I'm, I'm over, I'm over so the gathering. gathering. I don't want to yeah, gather anymore. <laughs> I don't want to gather anymore. You know what's so funny about that though? When people sent me that meme that was like the gather sign, it said like it's illegal, Karen, take it down. Uh, I thought they were just making a joke about how it's like overused and whatever, uh, but they're saying like okay, due to go COVID, on. like I get it now, but I still. Still want new decor so it works out because i really want to make it a little bit more modern farmhouse rather than all farmhouse and zane likes the more modern look anyway so it's going to kind of mix both of that kind of style together i think it'll be good i got you a toy did you see my instagram story of her yeah she i just i just arm. saw it it's so cute they had a giraffe and cheetah print but i was like this one looks nicer <laughs> even though it's zebra it doesn't really look it looks like stripe oh bend is intrigued who wants a toy? The last time I got her a dollar store toy, it's her favorite. The yeah. stick with the feather on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's from the dollar store. <laughs> Get it! I stocked up on our cards. Amazing. Oh, shit. Corn holders. That's pretty cool. And I didn't remember which one our garbage took, but I got both of them. I think it's the round ones. It might take four of the round ones. No, I think it's just two. Oh, you might be right. I don't know. No it's okay, yeah. All right, so guys, we're gonna make some dinner, but Zane is watching his video game thing, so if you hear that in the background, sorry about it. But as you saw, I went crazy looking for those egg roll wrappers for the buffalo chicken egg rolls that I wanted to make, and I just couldn't find them anywhere, so I gave up. So we're trying a different recipe. We're gonna make an enchilada skillet from Skinny Taste, and it uses some corn tortillas, some shredded rotisserie chicken. We just shredded up some chicken breast in a 
the crock pot. We put it on high for four hours and it shreds really easily with just some salt and pepper and chicken broth. So I'm gonna use that and then like a can of beans and stuff like that. I'll have the recipe linked down below, but it looks really good and it seems like an indulgent recipe that'll like feel like we're eating something really unhealthy, but it's also like not too bad, but we can definitely eat more than the serving size since it's Sunday, you know what I mean? It's like if I made this on another day, we would just eat one serving size and that's not fun. We wanna eat half the skillet each, so I think this will be good. We have the black beans, perfect. I was hoping that one did. And her recipe makes it with red enchilada sauce, but I'm gonna use green chili enchilada sauce because that's just what we have. That's how we're gonna do it. Also not to mention, it seems literally so easy and look at it. Oh my God, that looks uh, freaking amazing. So I'm hungry and I'm ready. We literally ate at like 11 30, 12 o'clock. So it's been a while. Preheating to 500. I don't even know if our oven goes that high. I think it does actually, I'm a liar. It does, that's it. She said, that is it. <laughs> first things first, we're chopping up half of an onion and two cloves of garlic. All right, we've got half an onion, two cloves of garlic, and one teaspoon of ground cumin, and we're gonna heat up a cast iron skillet. That is gonna go on medium heat. Our stove is pretty strong, so I'm gonna go a tiny bit less than medium. And we're doing one teaspoon of vegetable oil. I love vegetable oil, something about it. I feel like it just adds flavor, and it's just really delicious. I love my olive oil, but like, I don't know, I just feel like it adds such a good flavor. So good. Makes things taste like they're fried, hello. <laughs> It makes things taste like they're like deep fried in oil, even though they're not, you know? Okay, once the skillet is heated up, we're gonna add in the garlic, onion, and the cumin for about five minutes. That's the sound you wanna hear. We pause this montage for. Let's see. This hand is almost. Oh, it's up. still got a little time. Let's see. Wait, you're not looking at your phone? No, nope, we're gonna just see when it dings. What? That was interested. What do we think, Bella? <gasps> it's a little oh, early. Oh, you started exactly. I did my best. Yeah, I flipped it and then hit the. How much timer. longer? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Never nine, solid ten, 30 seconds eleven, <gasps> twelve. 13. Okay, it's about 30 minutes though. <laughs> it's done now. Yeah. It's like 30 seconds over. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, I put the onion mixture in a large bowl, and then at this point, we basically just mix everything in. So I'm gonna add in the enchilada sauce, a quarter cup of sour cream, quarter cup of water, and then you just fold in the tortillas and the chicken. It seems super easy. And then we're gonna put it back into the skillet and then into the oven with some cheese on it. Like, how can that not be good? Oh, and the beans as well, forgot about that. I went ahead and cut up the tortillas. This is just four corn tortillas cut up into little triangles. So let's mix it all together. Again, if this is confusing, I'll have the recipe down below.
never break my nails. My nail girl always makes them so, 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 so strong. But I just went to pick up that mirror that I bought and it like slipped really bad. So that's why I broke. I am so excited for this though. I love this idea of Sundays, <laughs> right? Cause it's like, it's a skin taste recipe, but I still like, like you can indulge more. It feels yeah. like. Excuse me, baby. There's sour cream and avocado there if you want. The only thing is it's gonna taste probably really different from her recipe because I used green enchilada sauce and hers is red, so. Excuse me, baby. I thought you liked sour cream now. I'm hesitant. Really? It just makes me like, makes me feel weird because of the uh, whole allergy situation. Oh, well there's some in the sauce. The dairy just messes with me. I mean, yeah, like if it's in the sauce, it's fine. Mmm. Love? That is good. This, like when we tried those zucchini ones, it was like, oh, it's zucchini. This tastes like an enchilada. Like if I formed this, what if we formed it? Wait, <sighs> if you go like this, it tastes like a full enchilada. I'm actually gonna give you my jalapeno slices because these are the jarred ones and you always say how spicy they are and I'm not for it. Oh yeah, they're spicy. Look, now I have, <laughs> you can't even tell. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, ma'am. I think I like green enchilada sauce better than red. What do you like better? Um, I think I like both. Cause you use the red one for the enchilada soup and I love that. Mm-hmm. And the zucchini roll-ups was red. Yeah, I think I like both evenly. Oh, this is really good, babe. Wow. Oh my God. Like, this is one of my favorite recipes I've tried from her. Was it easy? Yes. Cause we had the rotisserie chicken already done. Yeah. Highly recommend this one, you guys. Wow. See, this is why I love having the rotisserie chicken prepped. I know. <clears throat> rotisserie chicken. Literally all we do is take chicken breasts and like crock pot it. And it's so good. You can make it with so many things. Zane literally just mixes it with barbecue sauce and eats it with a fork. Yeah, and I love it. Mm. You could do mayo for chicken salad. You can do enchiladas. You can do quesadillas, soups. Very good. Thank this you. It's really good. I'm happy we made this on a night that I can eat as much as I want. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think the serving size is like a cup and a quarter. Oh, that's still pretty solid. Yeah, that's a good serving size, but all I had was that breakfast this morning. That's literally it. Mm. Like, I didn't have a snack or anything. So I'm ready to dive in. Oh, one and a half cups. That's a lot. That's probably what I have right here. Maybe a little more. That is a lot, though. Yeah, that is a lot. Okay, dinner was delicious. I just cleaned up the kitchen, did the dishes, filling the water thing, and now. Now, Zane and I, we're gonna do an upgrade to the kitchen. He already pulled out the table, and we're gonna finally get rid of my gather sign. I know what some of you are crying, some of you are happy. So, let's switch it up. I don't know if we're gonna put anything like, I think we're just gonna keep it simple with the mirror, honestly, but we'll see how it looks. I might not even like it. An error coming to an end. Literally. Can we do a, a flashback to the day that we put it up? Do you think I can find the vlog? That would be impressive if you could. Aww. Okay, let's open this box carefully, just in case. I don't want her. Oh, okay, these slide out. I just wanna make sure I like it because it was literally forty dollars, so I'm like, mm. if it's too small or whatever. Looks like it should be a good size. Well, I'm taking down these two. Oh, you are. Yeah. Those are modern though. I feel like. Wait, I I like those. That's not gonna fit. Well, that's gonna look terrible. That I would have to fix that. Or DIY dad will have to fix it when he comes over tomorrow. That's not gonna fit though. You know what I mean? I'm gonna mark that nail on the wall. Ooh, I think it's gonna look nice. Oh, do you think? No way. No that would way be too we easy. got that lucky. Here, you hold it over here, and then let me meet you on that side. If this fits on those nails that we have right here, I will be highly impressed. Come on. No way. No. Right? No. Will it look good though? I mean, it'll stand oh, back. Yeah, you stand back. Whoa, it looks really different. Really? Yeah. In a good way or a bad way? I don't know. <laughs> From what I can tell, I don't really like it. You go look. I like the greenery, that's why. Well, we can add something next to it. Or what if I add a big corner plant mm -hmm. to fill the space? That's most definitely not it. Go get the plant from the living room and put it right in that corner. The big plant? Yeah. Hey. What? For real? Yeah, I want to see what it looks like. It might change your mind because it'll fill the space next to it. Yeah, but then no one can eat right there. And then what are we going to do for in there? Christmas tree. Huh? Huh? Well, you placed it horribly, but... Right? When it's more filled, then? Yeah, okay, so I can see how it would look better, but I don't like the oval. I feel like I'm in like a retro diner. Uh. If it was rectangle, then maybe. Rectangle or circle like the one in our bedroom? No, rectangle. Rectangle. Clean edges, clean. Come here and hold it, I want to see. The heavy mirror. Seriously? 
No, this is gonna be a hit. That mirror right there is way nicer because it's big and it's rectangle. This is also too small for this space. You wanna do some Pinterest digging? You literally just need a bigger mirror that's rectangle. Oh, so you like the idea of a mirror above the table? I definitely just don't like this mirror. Okay. Whatever your idea is, fine. Mirror, no mirror, whatever. You know, why don't you just do like a big piece of art? Why a mirror? Like what though? Art can look really cheesy. So we get one that doesn't look cheesy. You want to do Pinterest research? Yeah, I can. Okay. Like, I'm thinking about, do you remember when we were first thinking about an apartment? We found that one place that we were looking at and it was like super nice. I would imagine looking at that place and like seeing what they do. Okay, well, if you don't like it, nothing I can do. I mean, it's not just me, but you don't like it that much. You're just being lazy, right? Like you just don't want to go over the No, I think it would look nice. Seriously? Yeah, because I'm planning on getting like new chairs or maybe a new table and chairs. We'll just see what they think on the vlog. She's gonna get confused. Who's that? Okay, I need to return this. I don't need a paw print on <laughs> evidence that we took it out. Daddy. This is how the cats see me. This is how the cats see. Well, kind of fail. All right, quickly, Alyssa's camera is gonna die. But she was like, "Do you want to go grab the other one?" Since you said you're putting pictures of it over there, yeah. Yeah, that was the one. <laughs> that was the one in the hallway that I got picture frames for the hallway now. Cool. Well, I think this looks miles better. As you can see, it's a lot bigger. I just, I think it's way nicer. And I don't even mind the gray. Sure, maybe black would look nice, but I think with the set as it is right now, the gray works so well. I look, I think it looks miles better than the um, oval one there. Okay. Wait, you don't agree? I can't see. All right, hold on. You guys let us know what you think. He thinks it looks good in this color. I think it would look great if I spray painted it black. But we do agree that this one just looks nicer than the oval one. Um, I like both of them, but I think I would like this one more if it was black. I can I can agree with it on you. It saves me money because we already had it in the hallway. I can return this $40 mirror that I bought. It definitely makes it look bigger in here. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like the plant in the corner. Yeah, the plant's nice, but I like it better than the living room. Well, I can get another one for in here. All right, jammies are on. And we are actually gonna watch some New Girl. I've heard a lot of great things about it. Well, number one, Zane watched it and I just didn't watch it with him and he loved it and I could use a good laugh. So we're gonna try and watch that. He's gonna re-watch it with me. What a man. You liked it that much? Yeah, it's hilarious. I don't think I would ever re-watch a show. I'd re-watch a movie, but I don't think I would ever watch a show again. I wouldn't watch a show that's like drama-based and like all You know the what's gonna and happen. Like and shit. These are just like... Funny. funny show. Like How I Met Your Mother, kind of? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I like, love How I Met Your Mother. If we rewatched How I Met Your Mother, for example, we would forget most of what happened. Like, the big story. That's like, true, that's true. We remember, but like, all the little jokes in each episode, yeah, we forget. Yeah, that's true. Same thing with this show. Yeah, so we're gonna watch that. I'm gonna do some skincare. I've been trying out this new little, um, brand that I'm trying, Dime. I just love the aesthetic of it. Like, look at it on our dresser versus, like, my other stuff. <laughs> Doesn't look so nice. I don't know, I've really been loving it, so... Yeah, I'm gonna do some skincare, take off my makeup while we watch this show. I've been doing so much skincare at night and my skin has been like definitely seeing the benefits. I've been loving it so much, like the little eye patches and face masks and I've been moisturizing every single night, every single morning. I've been using hyaluronic, ac hyaluronic acid, is that how you say it? Benj? They are so hyper. Benji and Bailey have the zoomies right now. As soon as I turn the camera on, like it always happens that way. They're always doing something cute or funny, and then whenever I turn on the camera, they stop. Anyways, today's notification shout-out goes to Amanda Ralden. She says, Notification Squad, love you so much. Love you so much. What's on your bucket list post-COVID? So, Zane and I's um, first thing that we want to do post-COVID, which will be a long, 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 long time. It's never going to be over, but hopefully we'll get it more under control. We want to travel to Texas because it's definitely an option for us to move there. However, Zane has been. I've never been there. And I definitely want to, like, rent a car, explore all the different areas areas different towns and things like that and just get a feel for it price wise and i think you know diversity wise it's definitely a go for me but obviously i want to actually go there and experience it before i move up and move to a new state so that'll be definitely it but i am not going to travel for a very long time because i'm scared of covid so that'll be in the future whenever I feel safe. But thank you so much, Amanda, for having on your notifications. I love you so very much. If anybody else would like a notification shout out, comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.